What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. We are at Torture Gym in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh -huh. And we are going to train abs today. We haven't done one in, we haven't done an ab video in about a year. Yeah. Over a year. So. The last one was at Blackstone and the thumbnails, like you holding onto my abs, I'm doing really a rollout. Really good photos. Yeah. Really good photos. Yes, we did. So we're going to do abs today. I'm going to lead the workout and put Jen through um, Hellish Ordeal. And if you want to build your abs, you will follow this video as well. So this is actually one of my favorite newer ab exercises called a ball pass. It's what I call it. Um, but I really like it. It gets your um, lower abs involved, upper abs involved, um, your entire core, your hip flexors. It's good. It's a good movement. Um, just make sure I have enough room. All right. You're going to start with the ball here. Reach overhead. You're going to come up. Give it in your feet. Touch the ground. <laughs> Okay. Hundred. I, was, I knew you were going to do something like that. <laughs> and one hundred. All right, I'm doing the same thing. Um, the only I thing do is like there's seven, not and then I'm going to say I did hundred. What? There's not a lot of what? Spin, um, spin a little bit though, because I was hitting the wall, and you're taller than I am. Yeah. For location purposes and full range of motion. Okay, so you're going to hold in your hand, come up, bring your feet up, almost like a V set. Did I do it yet? You didn't do it yet. There you go. Back down. There you go. <laughs> Oh shit, Good. I suck at there abs because I never do them. <laughs> She's such an asshole. She never does abs, but her abs look the way that they do. I don't ever <laughs> do abs. Good. Uh, I feel like my pants are falling down. They're not. You're good. You did that. your hip flexors moving. So much better than I did. <laughs> good. Uh, 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so this particular exercise, like you saw Jen do, it's, um, it is very taxing, especially if you've never done it before. So this is something I would recommend to people to do maybe like 30 second intervals, take maybe a 10, 20 second break, then start it up again. Um, don't go for like a big chunk set, don't go for like a set of 50, you'll hit failure way too fast. So go for time to start with when you first start doing this movement and have fun with it. Okay, next one we're going to do is heel taps. You can use a medicine ball, you can use a dumbbell. Sometimes I punish myself if I use a dumbbell because if I knock it over, I punish myself and I have to do more reps. So dumbbell is just here as a guide. So I'm going to hit my feet around the dumbbell and then touch my heels above it. So it's going to look Are like you this. holding on at all with your you hands? You can hold on to scale and you can put your hands up to make it harder. Okay. Um, I like to make it harder. Yeah, it's always making it harder. <laughs> when you're doing these, you'll see a lot of people will start bending their legs. And that's fine as a scale if you start bending your legs. What you really want to do, though, is keep your um, your legs tight and your toes pointed to the sky. So it's going to make it more challenging. So you're actually clicking your There's heels There's no place like home. Together. Like Dorothy. Like Dorothy. There's no place like home. Oops. Okay. Heels together. <sighs> This is one of those exercises where I like to go the distance, like set a large goal, like 50 reps, and yeah. just go for it. You can Ready? do 50. You can do 50. I'll do a... Uh, You'll do 100? Oh, no, I'll do uh, a... <laughs> I'll do whatever I'm going to do. Okay. Okay. All right. There's no place like home. No place like home. Exactly. We'll call this the no place like home exercise. This is another one where your um, hip flexors get seriously involved. Oh, I can't, I can't balance. There you go. There it is. There Why do I suck on abs? I'm being a real negative Nancy. Yeah, I think we you. transferred the energy from you in the last workout video <laughs> to me in this ab video. It's okay. It's just that was 50. Different. It's the unknown. That That's was 50. That was 50. 50. Okay. Um, so this one, like I said, doing a big set is one of those things you can do with this. You can always add time intervals to it and turn it into a cardio ab routine. But um, for this particular exercise, I like to do like 
Big sets. Really get exhausted. So you, you, like you'll do like three sets of 50? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Three sets of 50. And I'll usually superset it with something. You will? I will. What yeah. will you superset it with? Um, one of the next exercises will go. Okay, go so we'll see you soon. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> next one's going to be a cross body V-sit toe touch. We just made up the name for it. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a bit much, but okay. It's a bit okay. much, but um, it's also a bit much of an exercise. You don't have to go super heavy. I have um, five kilos, so it's like 10 pounds. Um, don't have to go super heavy on 12. this. 12.5. Point what? 12.5. Oh, 12.5. I'm sorry. I don't know my kilos. <laughs> All right. So you're going to lean back. One foot's up. Now, another thing, too, with this, you can make it harder. You can make it easier. If you want to make it easier, you can leave your non-working leg on the ground, and you can come up and touch. So cross body, opposite leg, opposite arm. Or you can leave your other foot in the air and then bring your leg up. Okay, I'll we'll do the other side just so we're nice and even. Symmetrical. Yeah, you mainly work at Sometimes, depending on my schedule, Make sure you do the same number. Okay. So you see how excited I am about this ab workout? <laughs> Uh, all right, I'm going to start with the... Uh, oh, that was my knee popping. Did you oh, hear boy. that? Okay. All okay. right. So left foot to right arm. I can't even fathom how to move this. All right, one, two, three. One, two, three, go. You're gonna be, think one, two, of three, it as go. a V-sit. There you go. You don't even have to touch your foot if you can't. It's okay. There you go. You got this. What are you worried about? I'm not lifting up the other leg. It's okay. How many? Let's just say 15 on. Let's do 15 each on your side. Uh, Good. Uh, okay, let's say that was 15. Right. There you go, go ahead, do the same on this side. Oh god, this bicep hurts. You okay? Yeah. It's, it's when the arm's straight. You got it. You okay? No. There you go. Let's pretend like I haven't done that. There you go. Oh my god, my abs suck. <laughs> so bad. Next exercise is a bear crawl pull through. So the bear crawl is the position that I'm in. So I'm going to be in a plank with my shoulders stacked over my wrist, okay? And if you come to the side, um, you can see that I'm in a bear crawl position, okay? You don't want your butt up in the air. So knees are a couple inches off the ground. You're going to pull the dumbbell through to the other side, reposition your hand on the ground, and pull back to the other side. The further that you pull it, the more challenging it's going to be. So you can see I pulled it further this way. Let me come back all the way over. Trying to keep the knees close to the ground without making contact. Ready, Jen? So I will, I've done these with my clients, but I do them with a kettlebell. So if you do them okay. with a kettlebell, I, I keep my body straight, but it's probably going to be harder if you do it with your mm -hmm. knees bent. And you grab the kettlebell, it's laying down on its and side, you it. grab it underhand, and then you use your obliques to pull it and flip it to the other side. Oh, okay. Super hard. Oh, that's cool. So, I mean, this one I looks like hard too, but try it with a kettlebell. Yeah, try it with a kettlebell. Good. Okay, walk me through this. Shit. <laughs> Emphasis on shit. Oh, so you go into a full plank is what you're saying? Yeah, so I'll be like so this. So it's just a little different? And then I grab it like this and right. I pull to the So that just side. a little different to so bring your feet in a little bit. Yep, just like that. Um, and then you're going to pull with this, the right hand, you're going to grab the dumbbell and pull through, just like you were doing with the kettlebell. There you go. There you go. Consciously trying really hard to not feel it in my bicep. Well, don't do too many then. Don't kill yourself. Like I said, the further that you pull through, the more challenging it's obviously going to be. How do you bother your bicep? Plug your next video. <laughs> Doing an arm wrestling challenge, which I did with Kristen over a year ago. 
but we were weighing right around the same weight, right? Yeah. So I did it with somebody, with Chelsea Dion, another Blackstone athlete, mm -hmm. and she has me beat by 30 pounds in the video. Oh, it was brutal, and we were holding it for like easy two minutes. Oh God. It's rough, check the video. Okay, <laughs> I just did 100 on each 100. side. 100 on each side, wow. Yeah. That's, that's that whole time. 200 total reps. Uh-huh. <laughs> old-fashioned bicycle setup. It's actually one of my favorites and it's definitely one that you can do a lot of reps on. Um, I like to count one, one, two, two on each side. Um, I go up to like literally like 100 reps. I'm not even kidding. Just go. All uh, right, you have to do 100 reps. You want me to do 100 reps? Yeah. And as I'm going over this, there's other ways you can do this. You can hold on and pedal. Hey, you don't have to pull. touch. You can hands behind your head. Do I like cute? to touch to get the extra added effect. Oh, slow down. <laughs> you guys are insane. Are we? No, shit, stop it. Such an asshole. <laughs> it's our evil laugh. <laughs> Are you done? Okay, I'm done. You said 100, right? <laughs> Are you counting? You're not counting. I'm trying to. <sighs> yeah. um, like I said, this is one that you could do a really, really big set of. Um, you can open with this and end with it. Do like 100 reps. Go through your entire circuit, end with 100 reps. Um, it's one of those exercises you can do a lot of reps of, and then they burn like hell. <laughs> they burn right now. They're burning right now. Yeah. All right, next exercise. Okay. So we're gonna do a corkscrew. You're gonna see I'm gonna focus on one side, then I'm gonna go to the other side. You can do these in two different variations. One, you can bring your legs all the way down and shoot them up. Um, I'll do like two reps like that just to show you, but we've done a lot of stuff with our hip flexors in this video, so we're gonna focus more on the core. Okay. I was doing one side at a time. Nope. I'm alternating. Oh. Uh, because okay. I'm OCD. Uh, don't forget to show them the variation that I'm not doing. Alright. The variation is going to be down and you're going to come up, corkscrew. I could do this shit all day. A little fun fact for you. You keep going. Don't go this way, go straight up. So you, your toes should never come that way. Your toes should go straight up. So what you should, should be able to, do? huh? What should they never do? Come this way. So you're not like reverse crunching this way. You're reverse crunching. Oh, up. up. Yeah, I see what you're saying. <laughs> Jen does not like to train abs. I really don't. Debbie Downer on this one. Huh? I know. <laughs> oh, I hate abs. But sometimes you have to do things that you don't like. You also did arms today in another video, and you don't like doing arms. So I'm proud of you. I know I did two things don't today. Like to do. And I was only happy in one out of three videos. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Sometimes you have to train things that you don't want to train, do things you don't want to do. It makes you better. You don't train your strengths. You train your weaknesses. Exactly. Oh, that should go on a t-shirt. Yep, it should. <laughs> Hope you guys liked the video. A um, bunch of different variations to do abs. You can mix them up. You can do them all at one time. You can do them on time constraints, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, 30 seconds on, 20 seconds off, whatever you want to do. You can play with it. You do giant sets. Um, you can have fun with it. But don't forget to train your abs. So I'm going to write this down, um, and then I'm going to give it to my clients. That's what I'm going to do, because I'm not going to do it. <laughs> um, one other thing, though. A lot of times when I train back, I actually do train abs because what you do to one side you should do to the other side so it does help keep you balanced um, I don't typically get back pain and I believe that that might be part of it um, but just something to keep in mind if you're training back really heavy you should also train abs even just a little bit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Core, your core is your powerhouse so the it stronger is. you are here the stronger you're going to be everywhere else absolutely yep all right I hope you guys like the video like and comment subscribe, subscribe and we'll see you next time